upstream gates are part of all slalom competition and the quickest athletes through them are generally the most successful. It's important to be competent in all ups to be able to choose the best technique for the circumstances. The gate should be positioned approximately one meter into an eddy that is stationary or with a gentle back eddy. The approach ideally shouldn't be impeded by rocks or features. So let's have a first look. This technique is very similar to the basic up. The path of the ball moving towards the gate should broadly follow a 45 degree angle to the gate line. This will need to be adjusted slightly depending on the direction of movement of the water in the eddy, i.e. is it stationary, moving upstream or down. The stronger the back eddy, the greater the approach angle, i.e. coming more from above. The bows of the boat should aim for a point approximately half to one meter below the entry pole. Again, this is dependent on the strength of the back eddy and towards the bank half of the gate. With running speed on the boat, as the eddy is entered, the crossbow steers its path before the blade is opened up further, generating rotation through the gate line by also loading the outside edge. This is then transferred into a crossbow forward pull on exit before normal paddling is resumed. The athlete needs to be aware of the proximity of the bow to the bankside pole as it passes under the pole. This can be adjusted by varying the degree of outside edge used to release the bow. So now let's have another look at that in its entirety.